It is mandated immediate compliance with Supreme Court's ruling on local government funding. The resolution was reached on the floor of the Senate after a debate on a motion by lawmaker representing Anambra North, Senator Tony Woye. A cross-section of lawmakers, including Senators Osita Izunaso and Adamu Aliero, underscored the urgency for adherence to judicial mandate to enhance transparency and accountability in local governments. President of the few state governments through their respective state House of Assembly, through their uh, different state House of Assembly, seek to enact laws, while some have already enacted laws and continue to take action that undermine the financial autonomy of local governments, thereby breaching the constitutional provision 1999 constitution, as well as the judgment of the Supreme Court. The Senate further concerned that the modus operandi of subverting this financial autonomy of local governments by state government through the House of Assembly is to insert clauses in their state laws that require local governments upon receipt of this federal allocation from federation account to remit all or majority or substantial part of the allocation to a dedicated account who the state government will keep control, will keep on control in managing and disburse as they like. In supporting this motion, I would like to recall that there is urgent need to amend Section 7 of 1999 Constitution as amended to further guarantee the autonomy of local government. This Constitution says that local government is a third tier of government. We have three tiers of government in Nigeria, the federal, the state, and local government. So local government should be allowed to exercise that responsibility of a third tier of government. So in any attempt of any state, House of Assembly, trying to make law that will now mandate this revenue coming to local government to be controlled by another account before the money gets to local government, I think is undermining the Supreme Court judgment. Uh, the court has already decided that the money of the local government councils should be released directly to the councils. And for us to start debating it, it's going against the spirit of the Constitution, since there is already a, a constitutional provision to that effect. Two prayers are as follows. All states and local governments to fully comply with the recent Supreme Court judgment on the disbursement and utilization of funds accruing to all local governments in Nigeria. President of the Senate, Senator Gatswell Akpabio, in his ruling assured that National Assembly will take immediate steps to alter sections of the Constitution to give full autonomy to local government administration in the country. Bordering on attempts to circumvent the ruling of the Supreme Court. And I want to thank all of you for your contributions and I assure you that the 10th Senate working with our colleagues in the House of Representatives will alter any aspect of our constitution, amend any section of our laws to ensure full autonomy, full autonomy to the local government administrations in this country so that it will be recognized fully in action and in fact as a third tier of government of the Federation. So I thank you for the motions so far moved.